Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hansel and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Where last time we did not make much progress on this setup because we rebuilt our rocket here um, to be more powerful so we can launch out farther and bring back uh, uh, thermium and thorium. Uh, not thermium, uh, tungsten and wolframite, so we can produce thermium because we need a bit more to finish off this build. So uh, let's see how far we can get in uh, today's episode. Uh, I need mesh tile there and we need metal tiles there and there there and there and then here we will leave open because um, oh, we need to do a bit more work down there anyway but once that's finished we can actually close off here and on this side we do have a liquid lock um, because once we have closed off here we can vacuum this out because eventually we also have to close up here and what I also did on the side, uh, you cannot really see it, we have pipe going over here from this super coolant all the way to here because we need uh, a bit in this loop. All right for the for the cooling here and in here we now have a vacuum set up so i think what we should also do is uh, i hooked uh, this line up here um, but actually what we want is a proper set up to uh, uh, split out the uh, the load on the wire because I don't think our base will ever need more than uh, than 50 kilowatt of, of power and this machinery here produces more than than 50 kilowatts so we will have quite a bit of uh, of excess um, of excess uh, uh, energy and on here uh, we need a bit of uh, of liquid so these steam turbines stand in something and get cooled efficiently and then eventually we will also have to extend this pipe to over here because we will have uh, this cooling loop completed where we have uh, super coolant in there and up here we will have uh, a tiny uh, amount um, of super coolant in there as well. But let's do one thing after the other, shall we? We do have a thin film of petroleum here on the floor, which is basically all we need. And then we can connect here. And we can also start placing uh, pumps in here. All 
right, and the rest we will do um, once we get there. Then here on this side we need a metal tile, of course out of thorium, and then here we can actually Let's break this one and place the block there and then we shall have one tile there and there we need a liquid tepidizer because that's uh, rather on the cool side. I think we can make it out of, of steel without problem. And then we will have more metal tiles going down here. This is the uh, cool area. Uh, so we can make those out of steel as well and then we have the, the conveyor loader here um, let me quickly check I think I, yeah I made that out of steel so I think better of it uh, let's convert that at least up to here uh, to uh, thermium because while it should be pretty uh, isolated here in the insulation wall um, we're dealing with temperatures 700 800 degrees here so I'm not entirely sure um, uh, that that will be safe and where we have a loader, we will also need uh, a, a sweeper, which we will put here. And then we will need a pump. Pump, 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 pump. There it is. We will make that out of uh, steel going in here. And basically what will happen is crude oil dropping down, getting heated up, turns to petroleum, turns to sour gas, sour gas rises over here. Uh, and then cools down again, goes down here, uh, where it is converted to uh, uh, liquid methane, which then we will pump up here, and there the liquid methane is uh, uh, heated up uh, again and turns into natural gas. Right, um, yeah, I think, how are we looking here on this side? Okay, that's done. Ah, we probably need to switch on the pump. And once this loop here is filled. Um, we can then basically shut this thing off. We probably have to be, oh, yeah. We have to be careful because this aqua tuna would run. 
cool it down. But uh, basically without any means to cool the aqua tuner, this could get get messy. So let's finish this side off and uh, uh, then we can probably in the end once we're producing uh, uh, stuff here uh, we might be uh, able uh, to, to run it a bit to get a bit of uh, uh, polluted water in here that we then can uh, can heat up and uh, and uh, get a bit of steam and thereby have the, the cooling loop going uh, seeing that basically the restriction on the wire uh, for the 550 kilowatt is on the consumer side and not on the producer side i think we don't even need anything uh, special here uh, um, we can just connect that like this and i do it like this because then i would be able to easily uh, uh, break this this piece here um, all right, uh, they are making more progress in here. Um, and uh, then we shall also place some more tiles. The gas pumps are not yet done, but we made a bit progress here on this side. So here we can actually close off. And then I think we also will add a bit of uh, automation. Um, we have it here. And then going down there to the, to the lowest. And also the second line here nice then output piping we will connect the two uh, gas pumps dustly and then from here we will take it out that way So we should get a full pipe seven times over. Then we have a bit of, uh, of uh, radiant pipe. Um, Let's make this uh, here. I am a one off on this one. Have to have to check. What do we have here? This automation wire. No. Okay. Maybe let's leave off the, the, the pipe for now, but we also have to connect a bit of, uh, of wiring. So let's do 
this. Connect that uh, to here. And then that. And then. Up here. All our pumps also want a bit of power. And we have run out of thermium, which means we probably should head over uh, here, uh, fill up our rocket, so we can send it off anew for a new batch of uh, wolframite and um, Tungsten. So I will send out the rocket and check the, the plan how it should work and uh, then we can lay in those pipes. The rocket has returned and we have a bit of Thermium left. Uh, everything in here is built up, but I suspect 740 kilograms will not be sufficient to finish this build, especially as we have some more gas pumps to put in here um, and so on. So the rocket is just on another way uh, to gather more. And I think I figured out what's wrong here with the piping. This metal tile wants to be here on this side. So let's break that. And then have a look at the, at the piping. So I made this, this isolated part of ingenious rock, which might not be good enough, uh, seeing that we have really hot temperatures there. So let's replace that with insulation. All through here. And probably also this. And then we have the safe cycle. And then let's put in the metal tile. Ah, here we made it out of steel, so I guess that's good. We want to have it here. And then we can put in the radiant pipe. Mm. That goes from here and then in a staggered fashion to here and there it actually then connects with the with the with the radio uh, with the uh, insulated pipe which we have no more insulation left that's not really a problem. And then here we connect this way. Right. That should do it. And then we have also some weird things going on here. 
Um, because we have two conveyor bridges. Um, one here and one there. They do not connect to any any conveyor rail. Uh, and I suspect that's uh, a part uh, of uh, the, the thing to transfer uh, heat or cool uh, up and and down there and then hmm. maybe let's make some more here um we want also there we have the vent for the uh, uh, liquid methane and we go down here there and connect that way and here we do have a bridge going this way and there also have a piece of uh, radiant pipe so we also uh, have uh, the, the temperature control of the liquid that's going up in here because we want to down here it's cold but we have to heat it up in order to get it into a uh, gas right I think that's that's the that's the plan uh, let's try to stick to it and uh, I think we will have to wait for our rocket to return uh, probably also a bit more uh, uh, insulation make sure uh, we have the piping in here um, in the proper material don't want to uh, uh, start everything up to figure out it's not working um, and then we can uh, proceed with this build next time because for today we are already at the end of it hope you enjoyed it and join me next time when hopefully we manage to finish off this build until then goodbye